this video will show you how to utilize Smart Notebook's Activity Builder and Screen Capture Toolbar to create a puzzle. A very simple process that can be as complex or simple as you need it to be. Starting out, to show you an example, I simply have a little thumbnail here. I've got pieces of the puzzle down here. I'm going to drag a piece up. It's going to lock into the correct location. If I drag it to the wrong place, it will kick it back. It makes it very quick for them to identify as they, try, as they attempt to assemble their puzzle. Very straightforward process. Show you how, that I, how I did this. On this page, I have already pre-created the basic layout. I've got my picture that will ultimately become my puzzle. And what I've done is I've set up three tables, or four tables, excuse me, one, two, three, and four. These are serving nothing more than just guides. This will allow me to capture my pieces and make sure they're relatively equal in size. I'm going to activate my screen capture toolbar. On the screen capture toolbar, one of the items on this toolbar is going to be the area capture. I'm going to use the area capture to capture specific pieces that I want for this puzzle. Now my puzzle is set up to be nine pieces. If I wanted more pieces, I would just adjust my tables, add cells to make my puzzle larger or smaller as needed. So to start, I'm going to capture my first piece of the puzzle by selecting this, this area capture and very simply going to draw my puzzle. I'm lining it up with my guides at the top of the screen, my left and top, so that I can capture the pieces as I see fit. As I capture my pieces, I'm going to simply drag them to the next page because that's where I'm going to position and put my puzzle together. So I will go through very quickly and capture my additional pieces. Now that I have captured my nine puzzle pieces, on a new page, I've got my pieces. What I'm going to need to do now is create nine individual boxes that fit the size of the puzzle piece. I have already drawn one box. As you can see, my puzzle piece fits almost perfectly within that box. Now, I'm going to need nine of these boxes to accommodate the nine puzzle pieces. And because I don't like my puzzle pieces to be visible, I'm actually going to make my box white with a white outline. Now as a result, it's difficult to see on my background. So I'm going to change the background color only for the time being, long enough for me to complete this process. Now that I've got this part set up, all I need to do is simply make some quick clones of my box. So I'm going to turn on Infinite Cloner just to make it easy. I'm going to simply pull out my nine boxes, put them in the, put them in position. I'm going to do it rather hastily so mine will not line up perfectly straight. I'm, I tend to have a little bit of perfectionist to me, so I would like it to be a little more perfect, but this is for demonstration purposes. All right, now that I've got that, I will turn off Infinite Cloner. I'm going to select my nine boxes and I'm going to send them to the back. Control shift page down if you did not know that shortcut. Now that I've put my nine boxes in, all I need to do at this point is assign activity builder commands to each of these nine pieces. Now to make life easy, I do find it much better when working with activity builder to lock anything that does not need to move. So I am going to lock those pieces. All right, so I will now select my first piece, open up Activity Builder. So I'll click my puzzle piece, click on Activity Builder. My first piece is already selected. I'm going to say Edit. The first piece that belongs is this top corner. I'm going to add that one as a correct, add all remaining as incorrect. I left my puzzle pieces in an order that will make this quick and easy for me to do. Now, I, now that that one is done, I need to set my settings so that it will snap to center. By default, it does fade out. 
I don't want it to disappear. So snap to center and I am done. I'll move on to the next piece and repeat the same process. I'm going to drag my correct piece in, add all remaining, again go to settings, change myself to snap to center. Done. I will repeat this process for each of the individual puzzle pieces as it's needed. Okay, at this point I have completed adding all my puzzle pieces. They have added in, I've done the activity builder for each of the nine pieces. So to make things more effective and look a little nicer, I'm going to remove my background simply by changing it back to no fill so that my white boxes are no longer visible. Then I'll take the initiative to rearrange and reorganize my puzzle pieces so that they're not in the correct order. I don't want the students to have the correct orders of my puzzle pieces. They can be moved as you see fit. Once I have my puzzle pieces rearranged, I will save it. And now I have successfully added, I created a activity builder puzzle. So if I drag it to the wrong spot, it will kick it back. I drag it to the correct spot, it will lock into place and allow me to very quickly and easily put my puzzle together out of whatever type of picture I would like it to be. Again, this can be done with any type of picture, as many pieces or as few pieces as you deem necessary. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.